Someone asked me the other day about HbA1c. Now, HbA1c is one of the blood tests we use for diabetes. So in diabetes, there are two types of blood tests. There's one where we do a test and take some, a sample of blood from your arm and we send that off to the lab. And this is called your HbA1c. The other test that we do is when we take a sample of blood from your finger and just take a little plain finger prick and then we test it using a machine that will give us an immediate result. Okay, so we have a little drop of blood on here and we get an immediate result. And this is called your, we'll call this your finger prick test. Okay, now both of these give you different numbers. This one will give you numbers that arrange from 7 or maybe 11 could be lower, could be higher. Your HbA1c test will give you numbers that are around 43 or say 57 or could be higher as well or lower. Now the reason that there is a difference between these two tests is that they measure different things. In your bloodstream you have the juice or plasma that travels around in your bloodstream and carries everything around in it. So when you eat something and it gets converted to sugar, that wanders, travels around in the juice that's in your bloodstream. The other thing that you have in your blood is red cells. Now your red cells float around in this plasma and they last for three months and so they will absorb whatever sugar they're floating around in over that time. So when we do this test, your finger prick test is a test of your plasma. So that's your plasma sugar. Okay. And your blood test or the HbA1c will test the cell. So that's your red cell sugar. Now your red cells, like I said, last for three months. So this will give you an average of what the sugar has been over the last three months. Whereas your plasma test will only test what sugar is in your bloodstream at the time. So this will give you your current sugar. Now just to explain that a little bit again, over a three months period, your current sugar may go up and down. Breakfast, lunch, dinner, breakfast, lunch, dinner, and will vary depending on what you're eating and how things have been and what your exercise levels are. You also, over that time, will get an average. So this will end up with an average over that time. Okay, so your HbA1c will test the average your plasma sugar, your finger prick test, will te depending on what time you do the test, will test what that blood sugar level is. Maybe here, or if you do a test down here, it will, at this time it will test here, and it will only tell you what that number is at the time of the test. Whereas your HbA1c will give you an average of how your diet is going over three months, and will let you know that you need to adjust your diet some more.